So we're rolling right now into the hot time of the year, and this is the kind of time of the year when we start getting in late June and July, the temperature inversions in, in the air column happen very, very frequently. Uh, and what is an inversion? Well, tip, it's exactly what it describes. Typically the air column, it's cooler uh, at higher altitude and warmer at the ground. And that's just reversed in an inversion. It's warmer up high and cooler in the ground. And when you go out and spray, small droplets will hang in that cool air a long time and they can just go anywhere on a light breeze and often in a, in a direction you don't intend. Wouldn't be a big deal if, if there wasn't sensitive vegetation that's sensitive to parts per billion downwind. So how do we detect an inversion? Well, it's typically done when there's basically no wind. Uh, you, that's just uh, kind of not intuitive. You think when there's no wind, it ought to stay put. But that's when it often happens is, is when there is no wind. Um, and uh, you can kind of detect it if if, if you got dust hanging over the road after you drive through it, I think everybody's seen an inversion of an evening when they're out cutting soybeans and that dust just hangs. That's exactly what you get into if you're spraying under those very calm conditions. Your, your small spray droplets will hang just like that and can move a long way. So if, if you're seeing dust that's not moving, um, uh, fog starting to hang, dew starting to, to uh, get on the leaves, it's time to quit spraying because there's a good chance you're going to be spraying into an inversion. How frequently they do they happen? Uh, some work done at the University of Missouri over in the Boo Hill last year found that I think it was somewhere around 24 days or 26 days I believe it was out of 30 days in the month of June last year we had a temperature inversion occur uh, between 6 o'clock at night and about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning so it very very frequent in the month of June in our part of the world and also very frequent in July it was over 20 days again in the month of July we had an inversion we've got to work around those spray a little later in the day uh, you're actually better spraying with a little wind and in, and, and wind in, in a direction you know where it's going than you are trying to spray when it's dead calm when you could be running into an inversion